Hey guys, Talem here, and today I'm going to go over my top 10 mods for Skyrim Special Edition, how to install them all in the new Vortex Mod Manager program. I know some of you may be wondering, oh god, another top 10 list. Well, this is not what this is. I'm not going to give you 10 mods and then tell you why these mods are great and that you should use them. These are my 10 mods that I must have in order to play Skyrim Special Edition, and it just happens to be that these mods have minor conflicts with each other. And this is a good time to uh, show you how to install your 10 favorite mods. They don't have to be my 10 favorite, they can be your 10 favorite. And how to resolve conflicts between them using Vortex Mod Manager. Now the 10 mods I'm going to be demonstrating with today are the Static Mesh Overhaul, Enhanced Blood Textures, the Unofficial Skyrim Special Edition Patch, Realistic Water 2, Vivid Weather's Definitive Edition, Alternative Start Live Another Life, the Skyrim Flora Overhaul Special Edition, the High Quality World Map, Immersive HUD, and of course, Sky UI. Alright guys, here we are in Vortex, and I went ahead and took the liberty already of downloading my top 10 mods for installation to show you guys exactly how I would install them and order them as well as resolve any conflicts they may have. So let's jump over to the mods tab and as we can see I have my 10 mods here ready to go. Let's go ahead and get into the installation process of my top 10. Alright so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install every single one of these turkeys first and then we'll go ahead and get into uh, ordering them as well as dealing with any potential conflicts. All right, now that all of our mods are installed, we can go ahead and get them all activated and see what kind of conflicts are involved in getting our load order just right, conflict free and ready to play. So we'll go down here to our plugins and as you can see, we do not have any plugins active. That's because when you install a mod, you still have to activate it in order to uh, use it in your load order. So we're gonna go ahead and activate all of our mods here really doesn't matter which order you decide to activate them in. I mean, I can bounce around like this. I can go up here. I can go over here. It says right here, the mod of Vivid Weather's Definitive Edition contains multiple plugins. If you install a mod and it has a scripted installer, typically it will give you a series of options, you know, patches, additional content. And when you select those, those will come with typically extra ESPs. So when you get a message like this and you know this was a scripted installer, Typically, all the ESPs it is putting in, you want in. There isn't anything special you need to do other than click Enable All. But let's get the rest of these all enabled. Okay, so we'll go over here to Plugins. It was deploying the mods. And as you can see, our load order is kind of screwy. Everything seems to be uh, pretty all over the place. So uh, even if we click this, it really doesn't seem to... Uh, to get it fixed <laughs> you might be looking at it and be going what is going on just does not look right well what you want to do is i don't like the auto sort feature it's not really my thing so i'm gonna go up to dashboard and i am going to run loot if you don't have loot installed you need to have it installed just go to the loot download page i'll provide a link down below get it downloaded install it in a directory that is not in one of your games don't put it in program files either I keep mine in my game utilities folder and what you want to do is once you have that installed is you just go to the three dots here go to edit and you just want to set the target path and click save if your icons messed up you can just click on this and tell it to use the executable it'll find the loot icon within the execu executable click save and you're good to go so let's go ahead and launch loot here let it do its thing make sure it says Skyrim special edition up here at the top Click the three bars, sorting the load order. All right, 
you uh, do a little peruse here, check it out. Ignore these error messages for right now. This is uh, this will be handled handled in another topic. So just click apply. All right, and that should honestly do it. Now, if you go back here, your load order should now be in perfect condition. If it's not, just close Vortex, open it back up, and it should be fixed. And you should be completely good to go. All right, now that we know our lowered order is in sorts, let's go back to mods here. And you see these little green lightning bolts? This is because I have already put in place fixes. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my fixes. Okay, if I can click on the right spot. <laughs> you see the lightning bolts now turning to red. Red means that there is a conflict. Now, how do we resolve that? Well, I'm going to kind of undo what I just did. But first, you want to keep track in your mind of how your mods are set up. So if you go to plugins here, you will see that Re Realistic Water 2 is at the bottom. Then you have your Vivid Weathers, Extended Snow, but that's not the main one. Where, where's the main Vivid Weathers? That's up here at the top. And in between that, you got your Skyrim Flora Overhaul. This is your map. The alternative Another Life. Blood's way up here. And Smim is all the way at the top. Only superseded by the unofficial Skyrim patch. So when we go up here, let's go to Realistic Water 2. Let's see what this air is. Okay, it's a conflict with Shmim. And what file? Well, let's see, the uh, FX Creek Flat Long. Okay, and you know that you want everything to use, as far as water goes, you want it to use Realistic Water 2. So what you want to do is you want to set Realistic Water 2 to load after Smim. Click save. All right, and that conflict apparently has gone away. So we go down here to Vivid Waters and see what that air is. It has an air with the Skyrim Flora Overhaul. Now, if you were paying attention to my little fast forward install, you would have seen that I installed the LOD trees in Vivid Weathers to use the Skyrim Flora ones. So here we know that we want the Vivid Weathers to load before Skyrim Flora Overhaul. All right, that error is now taken care of. Let's go down here to Smim. Now, Smim is at the very top. The Smim files you want, if you have something below that that replaces the same thing, generally you want it to override it because usually it's something specialty like water or weather or the trees. You just have to be mindful of exactly what it is. But here we have two of them. Now, this one we already took care of above, so we have to make sure it matches. If we put load after, Okay, I'm going to put that load after. And here in the Skyrim Flora Overhaul, we want it to load before, because we do want it to load before. Click Save. And we're going to have this. Mod rules contain cycles. Well, that's because we're telling Vortex two different things. We're telling it right here on Smim to load after Realistic Water 2. But here in Realistic Water 2, we're telling it to load after Smim. They have to match. So let's go over here and tell it to load after load before realistic water 2 all right let's go ahead and dismiss this all right and uh we should actually now have no errors okay smim loads before realistic water 2 smim loads before or overhaul we go up here realistic water 2 will load after smim vivid weathers will load before flora overhaul and go back down here to flora overhaul now we have to match this to the other one. We want it to load after Vivid Weathers, and we want it to load after Smim. Click Save, and there you go. Conflicts are resolved. Now, with a mod organizer, you're able to actually disable or delete or just flat out hide a particular files. You can't do that yet with Vortex, but hopefully that comes sooner than later. And um, I believe that they have said they are working on that. So I have confidence that this will become slightly different with the ability to remove. Because if you decide to just say, let's jump into this one right here. Let's go to the file manager. And what was, what was the conflicting file? It was called the FX Creek flat long in a meshes effects. If we go into that, the meshes effects, FX flat something something or other right there right there if we delete that or we decide to rename it like we want to make it a backup when you uninstall or purge this mod 
that if you rename that it is going to remain and it's going to stay there and it's just going to be like this loose orphan that nobody knows what to do with so you don't really want to rename it or anything right now until that feature becomes more set in stone with vortex with the ability to remove or hide files that way the program will know that that file is supposed to be removed when you uninstall the mod. So for now, it's just best to do it this way. All right, guys, now that we have our conflicts resolved, our plugins seem to be completely in order. Everything seems to be kosher. I think now it's time to jump into Skyrim and see the results of our work here. All right, guys, here we are inside Skyrim. And as you can see up at the top, we have our mods registering. And we just discovered Riverwood. I love this town. Let's skate on over here and we can see our beautiful new water, courtesy of Realistic Water 2. Our great looking trees. What a wonderful variety they are. And if we skip on over here to our mod configuration, we can see the setup for Immersive HUD, Sky UI, and Vivid Weathers. As you can see, overall, that was actually really, really easy. And my god, does Vivid Weathers look amazing. Look at this. This is just gorgeous. And this is only the game with those 10 mods. This isn't anything that has to do with the character models. And even the default character models look pretty good considering what they look like in the Legacy Edition of Skyrim. God, some of them were ugly. This game looks beautiful. Look at this. Uh, for only 10 mods, and that's only a tip of the iceberg of what I'm going to do to my game, it looks fantastic. Absolutely satisfying in every way of the word. God, look at that windmill. Just makes me want to jump in there and spin around like a big hamster. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope this video proved useful for you. If you uh, have any suggestions of things you'd like me to cover in relation to Vortex, please leave a comment down below, and I will do my best to uh, meet all your needs. All right, guys. This is Taylor. Thank you for joining me. Please, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. I could use all the help I can get. Ooh. I'm just going to jump right in here. <laughs>